Hello friends and welcome to our channel. Today I will tell you how to become electrotechnical officer on ship. If you are new to my channel consider subscribing to my channel for future updates and videos. An electrotechnical officer is one of the most important people on a vessel, especially when it comes to his, her expertise of handling electrical equipment of the vessel. For those who are interested in maritime jobs, a ship officer handling the electrical supervision of the vessel can be a suitable career choice. As an electrotechnical officer, your main duty would be to ensure functioning and maintenance of electrical equipments on vessel. What does an electrotechnical officer do? An electrotechnical officer handles several responsibilities on vessel mainly related to electrical systems. Like most jobs at sea, as a ship officer handling electronics on a vessel, you are most likely to work under a chief engineer who supervises everything on a ship. And while under a chief engineer, your ship jobs would include the following things. 1. Maintenance and working of electrical equipments on board. 2. Working of electrical parts like engine rooms, radio communications, electronic navigation needs like echo sounders, gyro compass, weather facts, autopilot, radar system, broadcast and internal aerial system, telephone and talkback system and satellite communications. 3. Look into basic electric needs like refrigeration, bridge systems and control rooms. 4. Maintenance of emergency systems including emergency switches, fire alarms and detectors. 5. Vessels electrical components like navigational lights, battery backups and electrically operated propelling machinery. 6. Assist chief officer in handling routine works especially related to electrical handling. 7. Coordinate work with onshore technicians. 8. During emergencies, an electrical officer plays important role like every other ship officer. You would be required to handle the emergency situations and ensure all the equipment needed for safety is always ready. 9. An electrotechnical officer looks into electrical and technical aspects on a vessel. Hence working of computer-controlled machinery would be supervised by an ADO. 10. An electrical officer is immensely important on cruise ships and passenger vessels which have huge electrical requirements and unmanned technology handling them. Everything from refrigeration to air conditioning on such vessels would come under your supervision as an electrotechnical officer. What are the knowledge and skills needed to be an Edo? An Edo can be seen as a higher version of an electrical officer. The qualifications and qualities needed to become an Edo are 1. A foundation degree in electrical slash engineering slash electrical engineering, marine engineering field. 2. An electrical engineering degree a minimum bachelor's level qualification. 3. Electrotechnical training like STCW95 basic safety training course including firefighting, fire prevention, elementary first aid course training. 4. ENG-1 Seafarer's Medical Certificate and or Certification for Physical and Mental Fitness. 5. Training for Handling Electrical, Navigational and Communication Equipment. 6. A course in Electrotechnical Engineering, optional but not necessary but may come as an added advantage. 7. As per new STCW 2010 Manila Amendments, Elector Technical Officer has to obtain Certificate of Competency from Maritime Authorities by applying for exams conducted by them. Besides a simple bachelor's degree in engineering, as an aspirant of an Edo post, you can also take up additional short-term diploma courses of full bachelor's courses dealing with electrotechnical handling and maintenance. Besides these qualifications, for a person seeking careers at sea, you must possess following qualities too. What is tentative remuneration? Like most jobs at sea, the salary of an Edo greatly varies with the experience you own, the kind of responsibilities you handle and the rank that you work on. However, even with so many variables, Edo remains a highly paying job among all careers at sea. As a netto, you can expect a salary of $3,000 to $5,400 per month. 
Those working on bigger cruise ships can expect even up to $10,000 per month depending on the size of the cruise ship and the duties handled. Please like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time and have a great day.